And I'm back. And what this is, is a case 310 bulldozer in pieces, as you can see. But uh, it's been covered up here for a number of years. And I, uh, I'm trying to take care of it until I can get back to it and do some work on it. The blade has been down in the ground here like this. So what I'm doing, I'm just seeing if I can pull my back out for good. But I've been prying under it here like that. And I've got a, another piece of steel here I'm going to put in it, put in this pipe here. And then I'm going to lift up the blade and get it out of the ground. Oh yeah, it's not coming up too bad now. Let's see here. And get a couple of pieces of 2 by 4 under there. That, maybe one over here. Just to keep that out of the... Hey, that's 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 better than it was because you know right down in the mud like that that'll be that'll rust out in no time so we're gonna keep that yeah keep that blade up out of the mud that'll make a difference that's just part of this job but uh there was uh the squirrels had got up under the tarp here and uh, made some nests up in around the engine. So I pulled all that out today. And then I just turned the engine over by hand and it, it moved. So this is not seized. Or when I when I turn the fan belt, the, uh, the crank turns anyway. So it's not seized. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the spark plugs and put some oil down in the cylinders. Roll it over a couple of times. And then... Uh, I got something over here. The tracks are all in storage. They're here, and uh, most of the other pieces are here. It's just a matter of a fellow that had this. He just, uh, you know, he started this project years ago and never got back to it. And then he got sick, and that's how it goes sometimes, right? What I've got here, anybody know what that is? Now that was over in a shed. I just dug that out. That's the seat and the fuel tank. See right there? So there's the gas tank under the seat, and uh, so I've just brought that over there, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna move some stuff off of here. Let's see here. It's part of it. Yeah. So I'm gonna sit that that seat up on here. Oh man, I. Are you the kind of guy that goes around like me? I got, I got my pockets full of stuff, you know, halfway through the day, and I'm just, I'm just, so I got, I got to empty my pockets before I do any more of this. Put that out of there. Put that in my back pocket. And, uh, I just got to get this stuff out of my pockets. Yeah, you go around your pockets full all day. You can't. Done there. Oh, feeling lighter already. Oh, that's so much better. Oh, oh, that's a weight off. I'm gonna see if I can wrestle that seat up on there. for this, I think. No crane available. Oh. Maybe an ambulance will come and help me here eventually. <laughs> if I'm lucky. Huh. Okay, it wants to go something like that. Now. And if you think it's unfair that one guy's having all this fun, well, come on over and help. 
I know. I get to have all this joy. And you're sitting at home thinking, gosh, I wish I had the project to do, you know? Wish I could lift something really heavy today. Well, I, uh, I did it for you. <laughs> oh, man. A few moments later. Don't call it everyday projects for nothing. Let's go around the other side. I'll take you with me here. Let's see if we can see if we can figure this out. See this these plates are set up in here. Those don't go there. They're I don't know, they're going on the side there, I think, somewhere, but this, like I say, it's in pieces. But um, the dream is that someday it may not be in pieces, right? Let's see. Anyway, I think the mission accomplished. It's 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 on there. It's got a couple of bolts in it. It's not going to go anywhere. I think it's it's close enough for this for this putting it in storage because I'm going to put some stuff on the seat too. Uh, there's a few things I got to put up there. You can see the gear shift is free of the seat. Yeah, see there's a hole here, but I'm almost thinking that this this raises, this raises too, this cowling is not fixed either. So this has got an ability to move up and down a bit too. So I think that'll be all right. There's the, there's the drive shaft to come back. It seems like there's a coupling, there's a coupling missing for there somewhere, but that's okay for now. And uh, yeah, because this this seat was in a was in a shed over there forever, you know, for 40 years. And um, it's the reunion. It's finally it's coming back together. And uh, yeah, like I say. You can see where he worked on all this here. It was something to do with the tracks and something to do with a part that he couldn't get for the tracks or couldn't make. And that just got stopped up. And, and that winch is probably okay, but the cable's done, of course, as you can see. And... Okay, so I went over there and I found the skid plate. It's so important that everything's up off the ground, you know, no matter when you, what you store for how long. Even if you think it's only going to be for a month or something, keep stuff off the ground. It makes a big difference. It's two by four there. That's off the ground. Let's see if I can get another little piece to put on the other side. That is the piece. That's the piece for right there. Okay, I don't know if you can see that or not, but I'm going to try and get out these spark plugs. We'll put some oil down in there. Right, we're getting there. Another one. Okay. Hey, right, I got this engine storage spray. And the last time I used it, the, the straw went down inside the engine. I think I'll just use it without the without the straw. I'll just aim it down in there. Put a good healthy dose in there. And I'll roll it over a turn or two and then we'll put the plugs back in. Yeah, that should be pretty good. Okay, so I've tightened them down. Actually, I didn't want to just put them in loose. I wanted them snug because 
if water did happen to get in here, I didn't want it to get on the cylinders. They seem like they're they're doing very well. There it is. That one up in there. Okay. Now I'm just gonna give the, the engine a little bit of a spray of that stuff here and there before we put this thing to bed. Generator. That's pretty good. Voltage regulator down there. Other than that, I think we got it pretty good. There's linkage over there, maybe put a little on that linkage. And there it is. It's all tucked into bed. Triple wrapped, all tied down. And that'll protect it until the next time, until I get back to it. Yeah. The only thing exposed is a bit of that winch cable. I'm not worried about it anyway. That's coming off there at some point anyway. That winch cable's no good. But, uh, yeah. And there it is. Anyway, thanks for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, guys. Make a comment down below. I love to hear your comments. love to read them and respond to them. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again here very soon on Everyday Projects. Bye for now.